Good morning, everybody. Silas back again today. We got another busy one. Today's agenda is, first things up, I've got to get this car off my trailer. I've got this old car that I uh, took the uh, subframe and all that out of. Had a guy stop by wanting all that, so we got that taken care of. I brought the car back out here, never got it unloaded, so I gotta unload that first. Then at some point later today, I've got a truck out back. I've gotta cut the cab and front clip off of. I got a guy coming Saturday to get that, so I have to have it ready. And today is really my only opportunity to do that, but I'll probably do that tonight. What I'm probably going to do after I get this car unloaded is head back over to the yard, crush some more cars, and ship some more loads while prices are still somewhat holding out. Those birds are loud. Like, there's a bird over there, there's a bird over there, there's a bird back here behind me, and they are chirping or something at each other. I mean, they must be having an argument because they are being loud this morning. One more thing, you may notice that my camera looks a little bit different, and that's because I am on another new camera. I do most of my filming with a phone, as most of you know, and I know there's a stigma against that, but you know, iPhone technology is really good. The cameras on these things are amazing. I had my personal phone, decided it was going to die on me. And so I took my old YouTube phone and made it my personal phone, and I went and bought a brand new iPhone 13 Pro Max, and I made that my camera. And it has what's called a cinematic mode on it. And that's what gives the background a nice blur. That's what I really liked about my other regular camera, is that nice blur. Uh, that it gives the background so having this phone here it's not quite as good as what the camera does but like i said it's just much easier to use this unless i know i'm going to be doing something where i'm just going to be walking around all day long then i can get the other camera out but for just jumping in and out of the trucks in and out of the loaders this camera here is going to be the main one i start using from now on here's the truck that i have to get the cabin front clip off of he actually wants the frame left attached to it that way he can get all the body mounts off so what i'm going to do is i'm going to cut the frame back behind the cab and then I'm going to cut the front axle out of it, and if I have time, I'm going to pull the engine out of it, get all that knocked out of it. That way it's pretty well ready just to set on his trailer. Like I said, he'll be here Saturday, so I'd like to get this done tonight. Now, if I don't quite get it done tonight, I'll come back out here tomorrow night and finish it. We'll just kind of see how things go. My windshield is absolutely filthy. You may have noticed I just ran into the crusher trying to get that bundle out. It's because I can't see the forks because my windshield's so filthy and the windshield wiper doesn't work on it. So I'm gonna have to climb up there and clean that off real quick. Now it may seem like I'm constantly working, but it's definitely important to take a break every now and then. And one of my favorite ways to take a break and relax for a little bit is to go fishing. But unfortunately, I can't always just quit what I'm doing and take off and go fishing. That's where today's sponsor comes in, Fishing Clash. With Fishing Clash, I can take a fishing break wherever I'm at, right here on my mobile phone. You can fish from many different beautiful and rich environments from many different locations. And there's tons and tons of different species of fish that you can catch and level up. Plus, you can level up your rod and your lures, which will help you compete against other players in really fun weekly competitions and more. Now, my personal favorite game mode is the duel. With a duel, you can compete against other players and see who can catch the biggest fish. It's a ton of fun. While it can get pretty crazy out here, it's nice every now and then just to take a nice, relaxing break and play some fishing on Fishing Clash. And in addition to all the things I've already mentioned, you can actually make your own clan on here to where you can play against your buddies or your friends or your family and who doesn't want to go fishing with their buddies. Now if you enjoy my channel and you enjoy fishing, this is your opportunity to support both. And the way you can do that is by downloading the game via the link in the description or the QR code on the screen and then type in the code AMFS. When you do that, you'll get a special reward that has a $20 value. To redeem your gift, follow these three simple steps. 
tap on the three bars at the top right corner, tap on gift codes, then type in AMFS to receive a three star rod, one mythical lure, 50 luck power ups, and 30 weight power ups. Then you can start fishing from the comfort of wherever you'd like to go fishing right here on your phone. Thanks again to Fishing Clash for making this video possible. Now I better get back to work.
they just drove this bus in. It's got some body damage, a couple windows are broken out, and it's just an old bus. But uh, I figured somebody might want it, but you know, it's probably worth a lot more for scrap than it is for anything else. But I'll kind of show it to you guys real quick. Just got the old International, I think it's the 7.3 liter. Yeah, 7.3 liter. Nothing good there. The bus itself really isn't in too bad a condition. I think it's got around 140,000 miles on it. The seats are all still pretty nice in it. It's got a wheelchair lift in the back. But yeah, these back windows back here are busted out. One down there is completely busted out. Yeah, it's pretty cool here. But I don't have a use for it. It does have a copper radiator in it. I got to pull that out. And then unfortunately, it's got about 50 gallons of diesel in it. Which, I mean, at today's prices, that's almost $300. But I don't like running used diesel in my equipment. It just it scares me too much. Especially with all the emissions and stuff that's on these things. I'm just terrified that if I mess that up, it's going to ruin something serious in the system. And I don't know how old this diesel is. So I'm going to try to give it away to somebody that wants to run it in their pickup or something like that. I could run it in my truck that I drive every day that I've been hauling these cars with. But I just don't really have even a way of getting it out of there. I don't have a hose. I don't have buckets. I don't have nothing. So it'd just be better for me in the long run to have somebody else come and do that while I'm doing something else. So once I find somebody that can come out here and get that done, I'll pull the radiator out of it and then I'll have a tow company come and grab it and I'll just send it to the shredder like it is. I don't feel like cutting that one up. Don't really have time to mess with it, so I just want to get it done. But I'm almost done here at the yard. I'm probably going to take one more load into the claw. I didn't film taking every load I took into the claw. I hauled quite a few in today. I think I'm at about 25, maybe 30 tons so far, so still working on that. Probably take one more load in and then I'm going to run out to my place and start working on digging that truck out and get that done. And I am done hauling cars for the day. I'm back out here at my place. Gonna go over here and see exactly what all I gotta do to get this truck out. I uh, finally just now had time to get lunch. This is my lunch right here, is a bottle of Pepsi. During the lunch hour today, it was just crazy busy with people hauling junk in, me hauling junk in, and I just never had time to stop. I don't usually drink pop, especially when it's hot outside, but I needed the calories today. I needed the, the caffeine. I was dragging pretty hard, so I got some water too, so I'll wash this down with some water. I'm hoping I can just drag it out of here. That's the plan anyway, because if I can do that, I just grab a hold of this old 54 right here, move it out of the way, then I can come in here and grab a hold of this, drag it straight out. I just gotta make sure these beds aren't sitting on the tires. That's the main thing I was worried, oh, that's right, there are no tires. So yeah, uh, it may not drag as well as I thought it would then. But uh, I'll see what happens, hopefully that works, because if not, if that doesn't work, then I've got to move this whole row right here. And I'd rather not move that many vehicles. If I could just get in here and drag it out, that'd be way easier. And then those two beds, I just gotta take those off. And then I'm just gonna cut the front axle out of this. Should just cut those U-bolts and the uh, steering. And then I'm gonna cut the frame back here behind the cab a little ways. And should be good to go after that. I'll have to see what's holding the radiator in it. And I'll try to get that out and the engine. I'm not super worried about those pieces. Uh, the guy's paying me enough for the cabin front clip to where I can, I guess I can let those slide if I can't get them out. I was pretty firm on my price. He talked me down a little bit, so I'd like to get those out. That'll be the little bit extra that I was originally wanting. I am absolutely shocked that I have not been able to find a home for this cabin front clip. I know those big wheel arches like that are kind of hard to, to fill in. If you've got a truck with just, you know, even 17 or 18 inch wheels aren't going to fill up those wheel wells. So you're going to need some big tires to go on there. And I think that's what scares a lot of people away on big trucks like this. But man, that thing is just so cool. And you could do a little bit of body work and fill those in a little bit, but... I don't know. I'll keep advertising it. Hopefully someday somebody will come through. You know, in all honesty, I probably should have just crushed that truck. I should have just yanked the cab or cut the nose off of it and cut the doors off of it, cut the back of the cab off and crushed it while prices were up sky high because I actually would have made more money doing that than what I'm hoping to get out of it now. So I just couldn't quite bring myself to do it. I really like that truck. I love the yellow color of it, but it is what it is. I got plenty to do, so I'm going to get busy and keep working. If I don't trip and fall, what in the world? Every time I come out here, I find more stuff down here in the dirt that I missed. What did I even hit? Walking along talking to you guys, and I snagged this thing. Stuff grows out of the dirt out here. Every time I come out here, I find more and more scrap that's been left behind over the years.
truck absolutely did not want to cooperate. Actually, the truck started coming out fairly easy, but then these beds slid sideways, snagged the bed on that truck over there, then they didn't want to come off, and then they started spinning around acting like they were going to hit the back of the cab. So it was not wanting to cooperate there for a minute. But we got her. She's up in the air now. I'm going to take it up there by the torch. And what I'll do is I'll kind of reach in here and cut these bolts on the inside first. And uh, I'll probably go ahead and cut the string linkage up here. And what I'll do is I'll go ahead and set it down after that and then I can cut these after it's set down. That way the axle doesn't drop out and hit me or anything like that. And then also once it's set down, I can cut the frame back here. I haven't had a chance to look and see what's holding that motor in yet. I'm assuming quite a bit of work to get it out so I'll probably leave it in there. I may try to go ahead and just get the radiator out and leave the motor in it.
And there we go. She's cut, ready to go. That's cut all the way through. I just gotta pick up the back half, move it out of the way. Grab the front half. The front axle should stay right where it's at. And this is good to go. I guess we'll check out and see exactly what's holding this radiator in. Looks like a lot of work to get that out of there. It's a fairly good sized radiator, but it's not huge. It's pretty old and rotted. It's probably about 25 pounds or so, maybe 30. So that's what, about 60 bucks, 50, 60 bucks. So I don't know if it's worth the effort to get out of there. I am gonna save that, that there. I didn't even know that was in there. That'll make a good junk of lantern. But yeah, I don't think I'm gonna mess up pulling this, this engine or the radiator. He can go ahead and have those. Check inside the cab, make sure there's nothing in here. There we go. There was one brake line holding on. I couldn't figure out what was holding it. Then I remembered I forgot to cut the brake line. So I just went ahead and picked it up and it snapped. Figured it would, it was pretty rotted. So that piece is done. That piece is done, ready for scrap. Thought about saving these hubcaps, but this one here I kind of crunched in with those military beds that were on the back. So I don't think it's in very good condition anymore. And then the one that's up here on the front of this is pretty rusty. I don't know, if they pop off really easy, I'll go ahead and save them, but otherwise they're gonna stay on there. I kind of started throwing a few things on my trailer uh, for scrap. I figured every time I come out here to get my truck and trailer, I have to drive to the yard empty and I have to drive right past the claw to get there. So I thought, you know what, I might as well just go ahead and have a load on my trailer ready to go. That way, next time I come out here to get it, I can stop by the claw on the way, unload it, and just do that every time and slowly but surely get rid of some of the stuff out here. But there it is. Hopefully he'll be here Saturday morning pretty early and get that loaded up on him, send it to its new home. I'm actually kind of shocked it took as much effort to sell this as it did. I thought this is a really, really cool truck, and it's missing a few pieces. It's missing one headlight ring, uh, it's missing a few strips of chrome, but I mean, overall, it's still a really cool truck, and it's not in that bad a condition. It's a little bit beat up here and there, and a little bit of rust in it, but overall, that would make a really cool project. Now I've got a nice open spot right here that I can take and shove that old 54 in. That truck there fought me getting it out of there because it was in gear, so I got out, put it in neutral, and then I get back in the loader, go to drag it, and it still won't roll, get back out, look and the emergency brakes on and kind of a shame on this truck here i'd really like to find a home for the cabin front clip on it it was parked inside a barn for most of its life so it's not in too bad a shape really but we'll see if i can find a home for it if not i can cut it up for wall art later two hands I'm doing it one-handed so I can hold the camera with the other hand but we'll get it not too bad I'm gonna take this old Newport out back and stash it and hopefully this Saturday while I'm waiting on everybody to come and get their vehicles that they're supposed to be here for because I've got several more people coming as well uh, in between people I'll be able to work on my junkyard cabin a little bit I got a bunch of grass growing up around it. I'd love to be able to get some tin laid down before the grass gets any taller. That way it doesn't keep growing. And I think that'd be pretty cool if I could get that done at least. And maybe possibly work on putting a ring around my fire pit. But uh, I don't know, we'll see what happens then. That's a good place for it. Right there in the row of old Lincolns. It's got a lot of good parts on it still. It's got a lot of good dash parts. And the grill is laying inside the car. That's worth quite a bit of money. The taillights are in it. 
Uh, as far as the side trim, it's all there. The finish skirts are gone, but the rest of the trim is there, but it is just a four-door sedan. Uh, there's maybe one person in the entire world looking for maybe one piece of chrome off of that, and it's probably not worth saving for those pieces, but if I get time to pull that dash out of it, I'll do that and then junk the rest, but if not, we'll just let it sit back here. I have no clue how this Ranger has survived this long. It's just been sitting over here by these old trucks, but uh, there's no catalytic converter on it, and there's really nothing good there at all. I don't know why I saved it. I must have just gotten a hurry and that's where it sat and I never got around to shipping it back out but it's ready to go so I've got room on my trailer so I'm going to go ahead and set that on there. There we go. I'll throw a chain over that, get it all tied down. That way next time I need my truck and trailer I could run out here, grab it, and run it to the claw real quick and then I can keep using it without wasting a trip. There we go. Got it strapped down, ready to go. We'll worry about that another day now. The main thing I'm doing right now is actually hunting for some mushrooms. It's way too late in the season for rail mushrooms, but uh, chicken of the woods right now is growing. I don't think they grow this far west. They grow in eastern Kansas, but I don't think they grow in this part of the state. But uh, I've never really looked for them that hard, and they like to grow on hardwood trees, uh, stuff like oaks and things like that, and we don't really have oaks out here. But I do have a whole bunch of walnut trees, and I've read online that they do grow on walnut trees, so I don't know if that's true or not, but I figured I'd go around and look a little bit and see if I could find some. Nope, no luck. I haven't really been looking that hard. I decided I'd do a quick walkthrough. I got that cab cut off way faster than I thought it would. I, I thought that was going to take me quite a while longer. I don't know why I thought it was going to take me that long, but it always seems like something go, goes wrong, but nothing went wrong on that one. So, hey, I figured I had a little bit of extra time to look around, but no luck. That's okay. It is kind of early in the year. Usually that sort of stuff... Man, that sunlight is bright. That kind of looks neat on this camera. Back back up here in the shade. There we go. But uh, normally those don't actually grow until more like June or July time. And we're still at the time of recording this anyway, about the middle of May. So it's, it's really too early anyway. I've just seen online where other people have found them growing out east. So I thought I'd check. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I know I had a lot of fun today. It wasn't a super stressful day. I've dropped my prices already. So people have kind of quit hauling me stuff. And you say, well, you're losing customers doing that. And I, I am. People have been taking their stuff to the other place, but I just don't want to get stuck with the high dollar material. We've got plenty of material already, and as long as our price is still up that we're getting, halfway decent, I want to keep selling as much as we can. I did buy a few cars today. I had a few people bring some converters out, things like that. But like I've said before, we make hardly anything when we buy stuff by weight. When we buy a car by weight, by the time we pay for fuel and wages and everything else, it's about 20 to 40 bucks a car is all we actually make profit for the business. And so if two or three people a day go somewhere else, it's really not that much money in the, the grand scheme of things. Not when you're spending 150 bucks a day in diesel. It, it doesn't even make a dent. Now at this point in time, I might decided to quit working. So unfortunately, I don't have the original video. But you know the drill. I hope you have an absolutely fantastic rest of your day. Don't forget to check out Fishing Clash. It's free to download on iOS and Android. And remember to get out there and find an adventure. We'll see you next time.